Hello Sadie, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Okay, we've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords here. So, what I'm feeling already is this Divine Masculine certainly desires to be close, really close to you, closer to you than they are just now. You know, they're craving your touch. They're craving to be, um, you know, it's like really vulnerable with you. I mean, both these cards, they, you know, they're naked here. Um, they're wanting to close emotional distance with you as well. You know, um, emotional and physical, and they want to be wrapped around you. <laughs> um, yeah, extremely close to you <laughs> in every way possible. Um, I feel like these divine masculines um, may have a, a little kink for being outside, being intimate outside. I think that really kind of turns them on. You know, it's like maybe getting caught by other people. They like that, you know. But, you know, these divine masculines are all wrapped up in you, you know. They are... I feel quite an obsessive feeling from them. You know, longing for you. Divine feminines here, you're not even really looking at this person, <laughs> you know. So she's in both pictures here, she's kind of like, yeah, whatever, yeah. And this divine masculine is um, <laughs> uh, very um, focused on you, you know. But divine ma feminines here aren't so focused on the masculines, you know, but they are very much focused on you. Okay, so we've got the old magician here. I'm just drawn to the physique of this masculine. Uh, your divine masculine could be really kind of physically strong like this, quite, like, quite, ah. Uh, if your divine masculine is a man, quite a macho man, bodybuilder, that type of thing. Like I said, there is this element of them not feeling close to you in a way here and desiring more intimacy with you but also more communication and you know if you have been intimate with your divine masculine recently i'm almost getting they feel you're not quite there mentally you know when you are intimate with them it's like you're thinking of other things almost and they're kind of wanting to get to the root of that you know they could be they could be sensing you worrying about something to do with the connection. It's like this divine masculine can feel that, you know. Um, and I'm almost getting that they want to reassure you that, you know, their focus is only on you. Okay, so as I said, I really feel the Ten of Wands here, this <laughs> alfresco kink of this Divine Masculine. Um, it's like they really like doing it in places where they could get caught, literally with their pants down here. <laughs> you know, um... Let's see what else we've got here. I'm just feeling that really strongly with this. We've got the moon. Three of wands as well. So 
I'm really being drawn to, yeah, you know, the masculine and two women here and the three, three of wands can be a third party thing here. So feels like in this group of divine masculines, they really could be into the, the idea of a threesome. And maybe you're as well, divine feminines, but it feels like the divine masculines here, that, that kind of really turns them on, the idea of a threesome with you. In fact, there are four people here, I've just noticed. <laughs> four little people in this card. So, you know, it could be like orgies, even swinging, that type of thing. Um, you know, again, outdoorsy stuff as well. But um, it may be something they haven't revealed to you. Um, you know, Ten of Wands is about burdens. The moon is about secrets as well. So it could be that they are a little bit burdened by the fact they want to kind of express that desire to you, but are scared to. Scared you may reject that idea. And I'm also just drawn to, you know, we've, we've got the the breasts here and this kind of nurturing energy going on here. Divine masculines may see you as, you know, it's it's like, you know, like almost you kind of give them life, you nurture them here. Six of Pentacles, yeah, so we've got this Divine Feminine energy again of not really um, focusing on the Divine Masculine, again she's looking away here, we've got Divine Masculine kind of lurking here. So the Divine Masculines, it, their focus is very much on you at the moment. And there could be this kind of social media stalking as well going on, walking past your house if you live together and things like that. Their focus is more on you than yours is on them. Almost feels like the, like this divine masculine would like to try and watch you when you're not aware like if you're kind of together but you're you're getting dressed or something and you don't kind of know they're they're looking like that they like that they kind of like to watch you kind of getting undressed and things like that without you really knowing in a way not not like in a creepy way <laughs> but it's like they kind of watch you when you don't even realise it because they're so kind of in awe of you. I just feel as well drawn to this Three of Wands that they really, really desire to kiss you right now. For some of you, maybe you've never kissed your Divine Masculine or maybe it's been a long time, but I just feel like they really want to kind of Feel your lips, you know. Hmm. So we've got the Knave of Wands here. Again, this outdoor energy of really getting turned on by being intimate with you outside. It's like they kind of like to catch you unaware. I just feel like, like you'd be out walking somewhere and they just kind of grab you and, you know, start being really sexual with you. Just walking kind of in the middle of nowhere. Somewhere kind of, almost like a park I'm getting, where there could be people walking by. I just feel like that this divine masculine really kind of likes the idea 
of getting freaky somewhere where they may be caught. Somewhere where, you know, someone could be looking at the both of you unaware. So we've got this nine of wands here. So I am feeling, because we had the ten of wands as well, there's some kind of burden around your connection at the moment. Because um, the Divine Masculine has got his hand um, over this Divine Feminine's mouth. Kind of feel like they've, they're quite, feeling quite burdened and guilty about the fact that they may not have listened to you at times. You know, you tried to communicate with you, uh, with them and they just weren't kind of willing to listen. They just weren't hearing it. Something about not letting you talk, I just feel. So there, there is a bit of kind of guilt around this connection at the moment. Could be as well guilt for putting you in third party situations as well. Trust me though, if that was the case, this Divine Masculine here, their focus is very much just on you now. Well, let's see what we get from the Deeper Desires deck. Cards. Running fingertips over every inch. Slow kisses. Tickles up the inner thigh. Yeah, this is what I was getting with this kissing energy here. Um... Like, they just love kissing you, kissing every inch of you as well, you know, just, just feeling you. I feel like they really do like your thighs as well. Like, practically all of these cards, the Divine Feminine's thigh is showing here. Nine of Wands, Knave of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I feel like they really get turned on by your thighs. It could be quite kind of curvy. Just there's just something about your thighs that they love. Massage. Put your feet up and relax while I rub you head to toe. So, like I was saying at the beginning. It is like this Divine Masculine here, really, as well as wanting to be passionate, intimate with you. It is quite a, a nurturing energy coming out here, quite protective. Like, they really want to kind of spoil you and pamper you, you know, and take care of you, I'm getting. Because well, this divine masculine's never been able to let you go, regardless of how things seem, you know. And here is your, your unbreakable connection here, the card. And they may feel a little bit left out in the cold here. Like you have other prospects, I just feel. Like they're trying, you know, I said at the start, trying to be closer to you. Trying to come back in from putting themselves out in the cold, you know? Playing. Just hold my hand and let's have fun. So, you know, 
th this is someone who, as much as they desire you in a passionate sexual way as well, this Divine Masculine is very caring and protective of you. And it feels like they can be quite childlike, you know, quite quite young at heart. They could be younger than you. Um, quite playful in nature, you know, and they would like to hold your hand uh, just walking down the street or, you know, maybe riding your bikes together, things like that. Just really kind of cute ways. Sexting. Show me where you want it. Tell me what you like. So, and this may be um, something you and your Divine Masculine have done a lot. And this is what they would, you know, like to do is, is have those sexy text messages and things like that. Really turns them on, you know, to think of you alone. Um, you know, sending them what what you want them to do to you. It just really turns them on. Some of you feel as well, um, put the black underwear twice here. So some of you may wear quite a lot of black underwear. I just feel this Divine Masculine really likes black underwear as well. But yeah, you know, um, it's, they, you know, they like you sending pictures to them and things of what you're doing. <laughs> um, and for a lot of them as well, if you've sent them pictures in the past, they're looking over those pictures and they are, you know, jerking off to them, getting intimate looking at these pictures. I just feel as well, I'm just looking at the Six of Pentacles card again. Divine Masculines here, maybe a bit of a voyeur. Like to watch, you know, you get undressed, you play with yourself, things like that. They like to watch. And they may really have a thing with eye contact, I'm just getting. <clears throat> In prison, break me free from misery. They hold handcuffs here, so they could well be into things like handcuffs, toys and things, you know. Um, but I feel as well, it's almost like they want to break free of... Um, sexual kind of inhibitions that they may have you know we're saying about things that they may not have expressed like three threesomes and things like that um it's it's like they want to kind of unburden themselves from holding that type of thing back you know so some of you may be really open-minded and, and be into um threesomes and things like that could almost be i'm getting you know, you and your Divine Masculine being intimate and someone watching you. I'm just getting something about people watching. People watching here. So let's get one more. What does this Divine Masculine truly desire? Tension, woohoo, sexual tension. I'm going to rip your clothes off. So they are very like, the guy was saying masculine, like dominant earlier. Like they just wanna get you against a wall <laughs> here. Yeah, it's very passionate, it's very intense. It's very um, wanting to be the boss.
of you. You know, there's just huge sexual chemistry between the two of you. And it's like, when the two of you do get together, it's going to be like this. It's just going to be like intense passion up against the wall. Can't contain yourselves. And for some of them, that's why they can't contain themselves when they're out in public with you as well. You know, it's like, I just want to, you know, pull your pants down and get into my outside here. So guys, I hope this has given you some kind of little insight into the desires of your divine masculine here. And do let me know if this resonated in the comments. Thank you all for watching.